The ancient Egyptians of North Africa left behind numerous monuments and had terrifying dark sides that had been kept hidden for thousands of years. As scientists journey into this mysterious civilization, they have uncovered groundbreaking archaeological discoveries that changed everything we thought we knew about this enigmatic part of the world. Join us as we unveil the 15 strangest things recently discovered in Egypt. Number 15. The Tomb of the Unknown Queen After the hundredth year of King Tutankhamun's tomb discovery, archaeologists continued to make discoveries in the Saqqara archaeological site. A team of archaeologists working at the ancient necropolis found the tomb of an undocumented Egyptian queen, as well as 300 coffins containing fascinating discoveries. The tomb has hundreds of mummies that are considered to belong to Tut's generals, his advisors, and many other antiquities. Each coffin has a spectacular face distinguishing men and women, and is decorated with scenes from the Book of the Ancient Egypt funerary text, the Book of the Dead. Individual coffins have the name of the deceased, showing the four sons of Horus, protectors of deceased organs, while some coffins have two lids. Inside the coffins and tomb shafts, the archaeologists also found artifacts such as games, small figurines known as Shabtis, statues of the god Ptah Sokar, and even a metal axe found in the hand of a mummified soldier. However, the most amazing feature of the queen's tomb was that she was made of solid gold. Archaeologists called her the Royal Queen Neith. Some call her the Goddess of Creation, or the Mother of Ra, the Sun God. While analyzing these findings, Zahi Hawass, an Egyptologist, said the discovery has established itself as a monumental significance and rewritten what we know of history by adding the new queen to our records. But tracing the story of this sovereign and hoping to unravel the mysteries surrounding her and the 300 other coffins has become a daunting task for scientists. This is because most of the known burials in Saqqara were either from the Old Kingdom or the Late Period while these were from the New Kingdom. So the mystery remains, and luckily this may be uncovered in no time. Number 14. The Labyrinth of Hawara The mysterious Labyrinth of Hawara is also called the Black Pyramid of Dashur. It's a place where secrets lie hidden and tales of ancient intrigue come alive. Found about 60 miles southeast of Cairo, precisely in the middle of the desert, this structure has become a controversial scene for both tourists and archaeologists, perhaps because it was built by Amenemhat III, the sixth pharaoh of the 12th dynasty. The pyramid is about 75 meters tall, with a base of 105 meters and an incline of 57 degrees. It's also encased in limestone, which gives it a raw and gritty look, similar to ancient fortresses. But that's not even the most exciting thing about this archaeological site. What's exciting is the underground structure resembling the design of the medieval kingdom, which was discovered by archaeologists in 2008. The underground passageway is so intriguing that Herodotus, the Greek historian and geographer who visited the pyramid during the 5th century, described it as an extraordinary complex with countless rooms. The subterranean structures of the Black Pyramid are divided into two sections, one for the king in the eastern quadrant and his wives in the southern quadrant, both two sections had their entrances and were connected by two corridors. Inside the king's chamber is a pink granite sarcophagus carrying a serec motif. While the queen's chambers contain sarcophaguses similar to the king's, several pieces of her jewelry like an alabaster perfume jar, two mace heads, and seven alabaster cases in the shape of ducks were found. The complicated passage has a ritual significance as the chambers were described as the home of Osiris the ruler god of the underworld. Some of these passageways led to the king's section, which remains mostly intact and holds a sarcophagus and canopic jars. The labyrinth contains 12 courts covered in gates facing each other with two kinds of chambers, one above ground and one above the upper set of chambers. While the upper site has been explored, the lower division remains a mystery. Attempts have been made to represent the labyrinth based on descriptions from ancient texts but the truth of what lies below the sands of Hawara remains elusive. The mystery surrounding the labyrinth has transformed into a captivating enigma that continues to challenge our understanding of history. Number 13. The Rosetta Stone 
About 35 miles east of Alexandria, and in the year 1979, some group of soldiers led by Pierre-Francois Bouchard during the Napoleon Bonaparte campaign in Egypt stumbled on the Rosetta Stone as they dug the foundation of a fort near the Rashid, a region now called Rosetta. The stone, which is almost four feet long and two and a half feet wide, is a black basalt slab inscribed with ancient writing. These writings were said to be a decree written by a council of priests, confirming the right of a 13-year-old pharaoh named Ptolemy V to rule Egypt. So what made this stone remarkable is that it wasn't written in not one or two languages, but in three languages. You heard that correctly? It contained fragments of passages written in Greek, Egyptian hieroglyphics, and Egyptian demotic. At the time of its discovery, only the Greek language was known, which made deciphering the other two languages an impossible task. These two languages remained complex until scientists realized that the Greek inscription communicated the same meaning as the other two. This allowed scholars like Thomas Young, an English physicist, and Jean-Francois Champollion, a French scholar, to crack the code and unlock the hidden secret behind the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics and demotic texts. History has it that these stones were placed in every sizable temple across Egypt. Today, the Rosetta Stone is housed in the British Museum, which has sparked lots of controversy. As Egyptians had repeatedly requested that the stone be returned to its homeland, Egypt. Some historians now support Egyptians' claim that the Rosetta Stone be returned. These academia believe this will help preserve history. Number 12. Secret Chamber Discovered Inside Great Pyramid No doubt the Great Pyramid is a wonder of the ancient world and one of the most studied buildings in the 21st century. After years of existence, it still has more secrets to itself. It's now true that the corridor paving the way to a secret chamber hidden beneath the north face of the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt has been confirmed by a team of Scan Pyramids research. These researchers revealed the entrance of this ancient edifice in what they believe to be the original entrance to the Great Pyramid. This secret passage was found through a cutting-edge technique called cosmic ray muon radiography scans and through the use of an endoscopic camera. The result of the scan showed that the passage could accommodate several people all at once, which makes many wonder if the underground was an assembly for pharaohs. Well, it could be. Christian Gross, a geophysicist of the Technische Universität München in Germany, has an answer to this. Gross believed the hole in the pyramid was something unique and similar structural features of it had been seen repeated above the burial chamber of King Khufu elsewhere in the Great Pyramid, as well as in the Maidum Pyramid, located 45 miles south of Cairo. And Sebastian Procureur, a physicist, who published the first pictures of the passage taken with the endoscope, confirmed that the pathway had no rooms, no footprints, or any other signs of human activity within. This made researchers conclude that the chamber has never been used or accessed for decades until now. They plan to continue their scans at the site, hoping to find more artifacts in space. Number 11. The Golden Man At the tomb of Saqqara in the ancient Egyptian capital of Memphis, archaeologists have announced a host of discoveries in this site, including a 4,300-years-old mummy covered in gold leaf. The mummy, which are the remains of a man named Hecashapes, was found in a sealed stone sarcophagus at the bottom of a 33-foot shaft. It was completely covered in layers of gold, and it's the oldest non-royal mummified individual. The mummy also had a tunic belt, wore a band on its head, and a bracelet on his chest. These were emblems of wealthy people in that he was a man of great wealth. As historians tried to wrap their minds around this golden totem, Francesco Tiradriti, an Egyptologist at the Cor University of Enna in Italy, described the tunic belt worn by the mummy as an ancient object used to preserve the living presence of the deceased, and the symbol could also offer insights into ancient religious beliefs. Significantly, Ali Abu Deshish, another archaeologist involved in the excavation, claimed the discovery helped to connect medieval kings with the people living around them. Aside from the Golden Man's excavation, statues, amulets, tools, pottery, and various wall paintings were also found. And these finds, including the mummies, were believed to date back to the 5th and 6th dynasties of the Old Kingdom. 
After the use of absolute dating, archaeologists found these items to be more than 4,500 years old. Number 10. Quesna Golden-Tongued Mummies In February 2021, at the Taposiris Magna Temple in Alexandria, archaeologists found sets of tombs that contained golden-tongued mummies figured to have existed from the Greco-Roman period. Also, in December of the same year, at the archaeological site of Oxyrhynchus, near the modern-day town of El Banasa, similar burial practices of burying the dead with golden tongue were found. In a recent excavation in the Minufia Governorate, Egypt, another buried man with gold foil chips shaped like human tongues was found. This time, the discovery was exceptionally unique. The group of archaeologists who found the mummy were lucky to have found not only two sarcophagi, but also one that remained completely sealed and unscathed. The first two, which were already looted by grave robbers, still contained two human bodies with the strange golden tongue, along with a large limestone sarcophagus. The first tomb was secure and contained several amazing ancient relics, including undisturbed limestone coffins and golden-tongued mummies. Many believed the real tongues were likely removed during the embalming process by ancient Egyptian embalmers, who thought jewelry enabled the dead to communicate with the Egyptian lord of the underworld, Osiris. Ancient Egyptians believed Osiris ruled the underworld and judged the souls of spirits who entered it. That's why they thought having the ability to speak to this god and ask for mercy would help people successfully enter the afterlife. This gives a hint into the ancient religious beliefs as archaeologists hope to identify even more incredible antique riches buried in these rocks in the coming years. They continue their excavations at the Kwaisna site, which have been ongoing for more than 25 years, to enable them to understand unfamiliar artifacts better. Number 9. Lost Golden City An English archaeologist, Howard Carter, in 1922, entered the sealed burial chamber in Thebes, Egypt, where he discovered the golden mummified ancient Egyptian ruler, King Tutankhamun. Little did we know this is just a start. September 2020, a team of archaeologists began excavations on the west bank of Luxor, near the Valley of the Kings. This is merely some 500 kilometers south of the capital Cairo. Within weeks of excavation, they discovered formations of mud bricks appearing in all directions and enclosed by a distinctive zigzag wall, standing some nine feet high in areas. This was identified as the Lost Ancient City, known as Aten or the Lost Golden City. Though the size of the city has yet to be determined, its date is clear thanks to hieroglyphics on a variety of items found with it. For example, a vessel containing two gallons of boiled meat was inscribed with the year 37, the time of Amenhotep III, Egypt's most powerful pharaoh. Ritual items including scarabs, beetle amulets, bricks, vessels, colored pottery and mud bricks bearing Amenhotep's royal seal were also discovered by archaeologists. Salina Ikram, an archaeologist who led the American University in Cairo's Egyptology unit, identified the lost golden city as the Egyptian version of Pompeii, a sophisticated Roman city found in southern Italy's Campania region. The architectural design of this site shows where workers might have lived, a bakery and kitchen, items related to metal and glass production, buildings that appear related to administration, and even a cemetery filled with rock-cut tombs. Number 8. Khafra's Diorite Statue The Egyptian Museum in Cairo has a lot of ancient sculptures on public display. One such is the Khafra statue, also known as Khafre Enthroned. This statue is made of a Northosite gneiss, a valuable, extremely hard and dark stone. In 1860 CE, Auguste Mariette, the first director of the Egyptian Antiquity Service, found the statue buried in a pit dug under the floor of Khafra's Valley Temple. The statue was registered as the 14th object in the Cairo Museum's Catalog General. However, as one of the most important and iconic surviving sculptures from ancient Egypt, it depicts the 4th dynasty pharaoh, Khafre, seated upon a lion-pawed throne. Khafre sits atop the throne looking above and beyond anyone that looks at it, gesturing a clenched fist and open hand. 
The king's portrait portrays two divine protections. A Neem's headdress with a uraeus, or cobra, represents Wajit, the protective goddess of Lower Egypt. The sides of the throne were decorated with the Sema Tawi, a symbol uniting Upper and Lower Egypt. These sides contained hieroglyphs which outlined the king's duty and binds the political parts of ancient Egypt. Also, a falcon extends its wings to embrace the back of the king's headdress, emblematic of the god Horus. This is another protective deity often directly associated with the living king, who resides in Upper Egypt. This statute marked not only a peak in the ancient Egyptians' manufacturing ability, but also in technical prowess. Blending idealism and naturalism in a variety of stones like quartzite, limestone and greywaka, Khafre's statuary continued to influence royal images especially as it portrays the connection between Pharaoh and the divine. Today, findings continue to relate this statue to the modern political stance of the Egyptians. Number 7. Pit of Giant Hands In the time when the Hyksos, a people believed to be originally from northern Canaan, controlled part of Egypt, and made their capital at Avaris, a location known today as Tel El Daba. The Hykos, who had resided in this region for over 3,600 years back, made King Kayan their ruler. It was during King Kayan's regime that hands were found buried in sand. Though nothing in particular was known about this practice until in 2011, when a team of archaeologists dug the Kayan's palace and unearthed skeletons of 16 human hands buried in four pits. In two of the pits, broken right hands were discovered at the entrance of the Hyksos Palace. These hands were believed to be some sort of present given to the king or his subordinate in exchange for gold. The last two pits, constructed in an outer space of the palace, contained the 14 remaining hands. What's more intriguing is that these giant paws do not include left hands, only right hands were chopped off and buried in sands. Manfred Bitak, project and field director of the excavations, explained that each pit containing those hands meant different things. Though this was the first time archaeological evidence of right hands amputation practice were found, many researchers believe the practice goes against what we know about ancient Egyptian writing and art, a text where a soldier often presents the amputated right hand of an enemy to his seniors in exchange for gold. Scientists are not certain who started this gruesome tradition. No records of the practice have been found in the Hyksos homeland of northern Canaan. Perhaps they could have picked up the Egyptian tradition, or it could have originated from somewhere else. Many now turn to the Egyptian Narmer palette for explanation. This object, which dates back to about 5,000 years ago, gave some insight into the grisly treatment of prisoners in ancient Egypt. This may be the origin of the cutting of right hands. Number 6. Papyrus Scroll Unfolding the mysteries of the past, the papyrus scroll beckons with its delicate fibers, preserving ancient wisdom and history. Found in one of the 250 coffins in Saqqara, Egyptian archaeologists have now found another relic in the same necropolis. This time it's not an embalmed skull, but a scroll. Discovered in 2022, inside a tomb near the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser, Egypt's earliest colossal stone building, this ancient scroll is more than 2,000 years old. Archaeologists initially believed the ancient document was 29 feet long until it was concluded to be a 52-foot-long written monument. This antique, described as the first discovery of its kind, was found rolled up in a sarcophagus belonging to Amosi, whose name was mentioned 260 times throughout the massive document. The book contained declarations and spells from the Pharaonic Book of the Dead. That sure sounds creepy, but that's not all. It also contained depictions of Osiris, the ancient Egyptian god of the underworld. This Book of the Dead is a set of religious funerary texts that were meant to guide the deceased into the underworld. It includes incantations of the gods, songs, prayers, and a roadmap of what the souls of the dead would encounter during their journey. The scroll is written in black and red inks and in hieratic, a cursive used by ancient Egyptians, and it contained 113 chapters of the Book of the Dead, distributed over 150 columns of different sizes in several lines and columns. The chapters were written and arranged in good coordination by writing in specific places and specifications. 
The Book of the Dead has now been translated from Hieratic to Arabic and on display at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. It's time for today's subscriber pick. Archaeological artifacts in Egypt have long been one of the most fascinating things we look forward to. While some are creepy and if seen in the dark could bring spells of nightmares, others are awe-inspiring. This image depicts skeletal remains that are arranged with mummified ancient individuals, as these creepy beings have the whole academic community gasping for breath. What do you think happened that led to this massive recovery of skeletons? Could this event somehow be related to the multiple mummy discoveries that we are going to learn more about in this video? Stay with us! Number 5. Giant Ramses the Second Statue In the heart of the desert, a colossal guardian stands tall. Behold the monumental splendor of Ramses the Second Statue. The Ramses Colossus rested among the ruins of ancient Memphis, on the west bank of the Nile some 25 miles in the middle of a busy modern middle-class neighborhood south of Cairo, for more than 130 years. Depicting the 19th dynasty powerful pharaoh, this colossal statue, abandoned in the sands over decades, was rediscovered on an expedition that began in 2012. An expedition by a team of international archaeologists, led by Dietrich Raue from the University of Leipzig. They found that much of the temple complex of ancient Heliopolis, where the statue was found, were destroyed in the Greco-Roman period. So, when this statue was found broken into six pieces, it came as no surprise to many archaeologists. One of the statues stood at a height of 26 feet and was made out of a hard and unique stone known as quartzite. Researchers were able to find the bust of the Ramses statue as well as the lower part of the head, though no inscriptions on the statue initially identified it as belonging to Ramsay II, as it's been found near the gate of a temple dedicated to him also known as Ramses the Great, the statue was believed to represent him. Researchers have further discovered the upper part of the Ramses' massive limestone statue. Though all its parts are yet to be found, experts hope to uncover more of it for restoration. Additionally, the dig also uncovered a 31-inch section of a life-sized limestone statue of Ramses II's grandson Seti II, the fifth pharaoh of the 19th dynasty of Egypt. Number 4. Lion Cub Mummies Deep within the ancient tombs, a secret awaits. Lion cub mummies, immortalized in linen wrappings, emerge as enigmatic relics. In the late 2019, archaeologists uncovered a huge cache of ancient artifacts and mummified animals, most significantly the rare remains of at least two lion cubs discovered in Saqqara, a burial site located just south of Cairo. They also discovered a variety of statues ranging from bulls to a mongoose, an ibis, and a falcon. Crocodiles, cobras, and scarab beetles were also among the other mummified creatures found at the site. Similarly, archaeologists also uncovered a large stone scarab and two smaller wood and sandstone alongside the sacred beetle. However, out of all these discoveries, five mummified cats stood out. With the help of computed tomography scans, two of the animals were identified as lion cubs based on the remains of their bones and their size. The remaining three cats were not yet able to be identified. But archaeologists said if the remaining unidentified mummies were a leopard, a lioness, or a panther, they would be one of a kind, and perhaps were not fully grown at the time of their death. Worshippers believed these mummified felines were either deities to be worshipped, or they were devotional offerings to the gods. Since their purpose stays unknown, they remain a mystery we have to unravel. Number 3. 40 Mummies Hidden in the Desert Lost beneath the shifting sands of time, a startling discovery emerges. Forty mummies, entombed in the desert's embrace, unveil their untold stories. It was in 2019, through a joint mission with the Research Center for Archaeological Studies of Minya University, that Egyptian archaeologists uncovered a tomb containing 40 mummies dating back to the Ptolemaic era, from 3023 BC to 30 BC. The embalmed remains were discovered 260 kilometers south of Cairo, inside four nine-meter deep burial chambers at the Tuna Algabel archaeological site in Minya. The chambers were cut out of rock, belonging to a certain middle-class family. 
When these mummies were found, they included 12 children and 6 animals, while the rest were adults of both male and female. Few were wrapped in linen and decorated with demotic handwriting, an ancient Egyptian script. Others were placed in clay coffins or wooden sarcophagi. Pottery, papyri, and colorful mummy cases were also unearthed. Number 2. The Screaming Mummy Behold the Screaming Mummy, a haunting enigma unleashed. Until it was found in the Deir el-Bahari tomb complex in Egypt, the disturbing mystery behind the unknown man E, also called the Screaming Mummy, had long baffled scholars and archaeologists. The DNA analysis of this ancient Egyptian corpse, preserved with its mouth open in a silent scream, suggests they belong to Prince Pentaware, a son of the pharaoh Ramses III, who conspired to murder his father. The harem conspiracy papyrus, which describes how the pharaoh's family, army commanders, servants, women from his harem, and magicians all planned to murder Ramses III, only outlined how the conspirators were captured and tried. A group of butlers who remained loyal to Rameses III and his successor, Rameses IV, oversaw the trial of a vast number of people who had allegedly aided Pentaware, condemning them to death or mutilation. And according to the judicial papyrus, the butlers found Prince Pentaware guilty. They left him where he was tried and there, he took his own life. Whether he took his own life by poisoning, hanging, or a combination of the two, the cause of death which had made him a screamer remains controversial among scholars. But instead of the due mummification process of embalming royals into a sarcophagus, the body of Pentaware was only buried near the mummies of other royalty, but he was not properly mummified. Its remains were also wrapped in sheepskin, which according to experts is an impure and demeaning burial practice among ancient Egyptians. The unusual mummification and punishment have had many curious minds wonder if the harem conspiracy was a success. It might have been a success because, in 2012, a computed tomography scan result of Pharaoh's body showed marks on the king's throat that appeared likely that the throat was slitted. Number 1. 59. Late Period Mummies the first significant discovery since the pandemic in Egypt was found in the burial grounds of Saqqara, one of Egypt's largest archaeological sites. A team of expeditioners added 59 new wooden sarcophagi to the lists of ancient Egyptian heritage. The sarcophagus was sealed more than 2,500 years ago, and their mummified remains were wrapped in a burial cloth with hieroglyphic inscriptions. These mummies were priests, senior statesmen, and other individuals of high social standing and with them were dozens of statues that included the lotus god Nefertim and dual god Potasokar. While the first 13 sarcophagi were excavated, the addition of the other 46 and their treasure trove of graves made this a monumental find. Though these impeccably preserved mummies were discovered in a narrow hole, researchers believed more of them are yet to be encountered. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.